Welcome back with another video, another tech video. This is Antonio Hicks. Have you ever just been stumped? Like you just had a, a creative slump and you can't figure out which one to create content on. So here's some of the tools that I use to help me in creating my content and also help me with creating my podcast. First one being one and tried and true that everybody knows about right now, ChatGPT and also Gemini. So when you click on any of these AI, when you select any of these AI tools, they can help you out with creating title headers, short descriptions for your YouTube channel content and or for social media stuff. It can also help you with popular hashtags, especially with Gemini that has a plethora of data to pull from, from Google's data farms to give you the best hashtags and most popular hashtags to use in your, com your comment section for any of the videos that you post. But to, if you one of those people that you just don't want to type, like let's say you're just on the go, you want to go and you want to, you know, pull it up. So you can both chat GPT and Gemini support voice commands. So you can just pull up the app itself. And we're going to use uh, Gemini, for instance, because I, I have both an iPhone and a Pixel. So we're going to use Gemini because I know some of the people that they, they talk about Gemini, Gemini, I'm not Gemini, but chat GPT responding back to you. But Gemini can do the exact same thing. So let's let's go with Gemini. Hi, Gemini. I'm looking to create some content for my podcast, PTG TV. It's politics, technology, and gaming. I'm looking for some uh, content that's trending right now that I can use to make some shorts and some reels off of to drive traffic to my YouTube channel and also to my social media. Can you help me out with that? Absolutely. Here are some trending topics you can use to create content for your PTG TV podcast and social media channels. Gaming. The upcoming releases of highly anticipated games like The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom and Starfield are trending topics among gamers. You could discuss your thoughts on these games, or create content that speculates about their features and gameplay. Politics, with the US midterm elections approaching, so that's, that's one of the tools that you can use. So from there, you can take that content, you can open up the web browser itself and pull that from the web browser feed from the actual Gemini web browser. And you can do the same thing with ChatGPT. Take it from there and create your content from it. Now, number two, once you have the content created, you can actually, you can have a creative script for you. Once you create the content, you can then take that content once you have it created and published, and you can put it on what I call, what I use, Opus Clips. Opus Clips helps you to create shorts and reels to help get it stuff out and get it done in a matter of minutes. Now you can set it in short form reels from like 30 to 60 seconds, or even some that's even longer. But all you have to do is upload, upload your URL to Opus Clips. It will divide it up and make some reels and shorts for you to put on TikTok, to put on um, Facebook, to put on Instagram, and to put on YouTube itself. Now, another tool that I use that's not AI related. So it's, if I'm if I'm using multi-platform stuff, so I work both on the Windows operating system and I work on Mac operating system. But you don't. There's certain apps that you can use that can float between both. But the one that I use a lot of they use in the movie studios is called Craft. So with Craft, you can generate a ton of uh, notes and stuff. You can create a whole script and a whole uh, show within Craft itself. But the beautiful part about it is it's multi-platform. So no matter if I'm on my my iOS devices, no matter if I'm on my my, my Android. Device, devices or no matter if I'm on my Windows machine or on Mac OS or iPad or whatever I have the craft app on there and no matter what I do I can always sync it up and have it between both platforms because let's say you write a script out you can then take that script and, and have it pulled up on your iPad and you can read from your iPad looking directly into your camera so these are some of the tools that I use to help me and my creative ideas and even when I'm stuck in a rut to give me stuff to make content on and also that I can use across multi-platforms to make things easier and navigating when I'm creating that content. So, y'all, let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it below. What do you use to help boost your workflow? These are some of the tools that I use, and they can. I, as I, I use a lot more, but these are some things that I use on a daily basis to help create my content for social media and to get things out there. So let's talk about it below. Like, what's, what are your best tools that you can practice? And maybe I can learn something from you and I can grab one from you to be able to make some uh, content off of. And also, one thing too, I, I forgot to mention, ChatGPT allows you to use other GPTs within ChatGPT. So if you're one of those people that you don't wanna show your face, but you wanna create ads for your business, it now has a feature built inside of it to where you can get it to create a short video ad for you, no matter what. And it'll, it'll bring in all the B-roll, it'll add in all the captions and everything else within that, for, within ChatGPT to create this one minute ad to post on all your social media platforms. Forgot to mention that, had to uh, bring that up real quick. But yeah, let's talk about it down below. I hope this tool helped y'all out. If it did, do me a favor, 
subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bells for I make more content because I do plan on posting more tech content to talk about uh, devices and things that's coming out, to talk about I'm in the EV now, so talk about you know my EV car and other similar to it. And you know, any new software application, AI stuff that's coming out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you turn on the notification bell. So once I do upload a video, you'll be notified once I upload a video. And then make sure to follow me if you're into the gaming sector. You love games that's coming out, you like retro games, you like you know what some good commentary come along with it. Follow me on my new gaming channel, uh, the House of Matrix. It, you'll see it in the comments in the description below. It's the House of Matrix. You can find me over there now. So whenever I'm doing my lives or any video games or content I create, I'm gonna put it directly over in the House of Matrix and kind of pull it from over off of PTG TV. So thank you all for tuning in to this episode. Love you all. Peace out.